hired you to find the girl. And you performed serviceably. What is it now? You lied to me about Heather, lady. I don't like being used. Lie? What lie? That Heather was kidnapped from you. But it's true. She was originally one of us. That man, Harry Mason, stole her away and kept her hidden from us. Yeah, but she says she was happy. She was brainwashed by him. Deceived, because her true self had not yet awoken. She carries God within her. But when a lesser mother of God truly awakens... Yeah, what's gonna happen? She will usher in the eternal paradise. <laughs> what kind of place is that? A place with no pain, no hunger, no sickness, no old age. There will be no greed or war, and all will live by God's grace alone. No this, no that, no nothing. A paradise? For castrated sheep, maybe. Sounds pretty boring. I pity you. You still don't understand. You're going to kill me? Is it really so easy for you? I've done it before. Then I truly do pity you. so glad you came. Please come inside and look around. When you feel you're ready, then go through the door. Help! Help! Do you hear those voices? A family of four was sliced into bloody pieces in this room. Cries of the children. The murderer was caught. Do you know why he said he killed his family? Because I felt I had to! Anyway, I'm lying. It's all just a joke. I wanted to scare you, that's all. The truth is, only one person died by suicide. That's Danny, a quiet young man, but quite friendly as you can see. He was so eager to meet me. His hometown is New Orleans, but he came here after first losing his way. Oh, maybe you might know. Where is the path to heaven? This 
mansion is quite old, so please watch your step. Sometimes the floor suddenly gives way, and beneath the floor, there's nothing. I'm so sorry. This place is just falling apart. The mechanism is broken, you see. It wasn't supposed to stop there, I assure you. There's the exit. I hope you enjoyed your tour. Please come back anytime. Or, if you'd prefer, we could come and visit you instead. Ah, that was supposed to be the exit, but it seems that no one wants you to leave. Everyone really likes you. They want you to stay with them forever. I have to agree with them. Dump like this be. I 
I'm sure it'll be no big deal. Yeah, but anyway, something's gonna happen. Uh, who knows? Maybe we'd all be better off if it did. But if this is how I got a mercy axe, I don't want to see any more of him. That's a pretty good reason to risk my life, don't you think? Plus, I'm just an old fool, right? You think you're Superman or something? You know, I always wanted to be him. Besides, yeah. I want to help you out. You don't have to feel responsible. I know it's not your fault. You, you remind me of my son. You said nobody was going to cry for you. Dead people don't cry. Stupid kid got himself shot robbing his bank. Because his pop was a penniless good for nothing. Who knows? Anyway, now I guess I'll never find out. <sighs> Sorry. I shouldn't have said you reminded me of a guy like that. <laughs> well, maybe if you had compared me to your daughter. <laughs> Listen. I'll take care of the rest. You stay here and I'll be back when it's over. You'll be okay by yourself. Hey, no problem. Besides, my dad's not around anymore. So only I can do this. What are you doing? Maybe killing you here is the only way to end this nightmare. Yeah, you might be right. sure you were still alive. Sorry. I'd come with you if I wasn't hurt. Yeah. Well, I guess that's the problem with older guys, huh? I'll handle things. You just rest. Thank you.